Brent Solomon spoke with one teenager who is now changing course after getting involved in criminal activity himself. Well, the 16-year-old that you're about to meet is out of custody now on probation. We had a long conversation tonight about the factors that lead a lot of young people to crime. His message tonight, it's not worth it. 16-year-old Reese Randall and his cousin Dominic are on a path to be better. Both have dabbled in crime and no other teens who do. The people that they saw like growing up and everything like that, they like their uncles, dad, like older brothers, cousins and everything like that. They could have been in the streets and everything like that. Yeah. And so they grew up around it and got accustomed so to it. So it's like a cycle. Yeah. So it could be something with their family or mm -hmm. they got to provide mm -hmm. or just they peer pressure. Peer pressure is what led Randall to rob a convenience store in Sunset Hills, he says. It was this time last year. I got high with somebody I knew and did a robbery. He called me up. He was like, hey, you want to go ahead and hit this lick real quick? I, mean, like, I was like, let's go do it and everything like that. So we uh, went to the gas station and everything. I walked in. I had the gun in my hand. He says it was an airsoft gun. Following the crime, he spent a month in a youth detention center. And then that first week and everything, like when I heard my Bert or my mom's voice and everything like that, and I was talking to her, it just broke me, like the pain in her voice and everything like that. That just hurt, and I was like, no, nah, I gotta, I gotta fix this. Now the teenager has a job. He's working to get his GED, and he now finds himself encouraging his counterparts not to go down the road. He did. But if you don't do something, at least think about the consequences of like what like the actions that you about to take and like really think about how not only is that going to affect your family and everything like that, but also the people around you, like outside of family, like friends and everything, your future, like future job opportunities and everything like that. The 16 year old tells me when he was behind bars, he met a mentor, an adult who spent time in prison and that connection helped him realize he could be better. Live in St. Louis tonight, Brent Solomon, five on your side.